Greetings wonderful people, my name is Savan, and I constantly keep getting worse at Ludum Dare events. It is a game jam in which you are supposed to make a game within 48 or 72 hours. I am a person who works a lot but rolls slowly. I spend big chunks of time on small things, don't try to rush the process and work on my own, mild pace. However, that is neither a reason nor an excuse for failing at game jams. To analyze what happens to me and why, I will introduce you to my Ludum Dare entries. This is A Day in the Antarctica. It is a little and grim game about extreme cold and a penguin who had to either find something to keep the fire crackling in the campfire or freeze to death. And the only fuel around were... Um, tiny penguins? This concept was bad from the start. I didn't brainstorm ideas and went with the first one. Later, I spent almost a whole day creating the throwing and bouncing mechanics, which in the end didn't work as intended anyway. What is worse, I didn't even have enough time to give game a proper ending that would explain the horrible things down and show them from a different perspective. What I should have done is I should have abandoned the idea at the stage when I realized that it isn't fun and isn't working. However, I was afraid of not having enough time, didn't want to lose the progress and thought that polishing the art to my abilities would save the game. My last entry is Creep of Despair. I spent a reasonable amount of time coming up with ideas on paper and picked the one I enjoyed the most. And that was a great decision. I really feel that game, and I will try to finish it. Later, however, things went off the rails. For some reason, I wanted to make polished art that I would end up using in the finished product. I spent hours making the main game elements, coins and UI bar. Then a lot of time was wasted because I used Unity an engine that I haven't made any personal projects in. I couldn't even get the basic things to work. When I finally managed to implement the song playing mechanics, it turned out that my UI was too small and I completely redrew it. And, what is worse, I polished it too. Combine that with the fact that I had to finish some work related to my previous projects and you'll see why I completely messed the game up. When I get back to this project, I promise myself to be smarter and to design with sketches and placeholder art until my game runs and feels great and only then proceed to polish in details. Finally, here's a game I made when I joined the event for the first time ever. It was Ludum Dare number 37, themed around making a game in one room. And I made the loop of eternity for it. And uh, it is by far my best entry. This is a shoot em up game in which you fly from one border of a screen to another and when you reach the end, your spaceship bounces back and enemies are respawned. In addition to that, your weapon can get overheated and prevent you from shooting, and if you gain enough metal pieces, a shop with an upgrade will appear. It was a great mini game for a game jam, but I didn't see how to expand the project and I stopped working on it. I think that why it went so well is because I picked an engine I was very comfortable with, I didn't try to make my own music because that's not what I do, and uh, the game idea was extremely simple. However, I took the chance and experimented with art style. That was the first hand-drawn game I've ever made. And game genre. In a nutshell, here's my bullet point list of what to do and what to avoid if you want to make an interesting game prototype in just a couple of days. First of all, spend a good chunk of time thinking about the game. Don't worry about the deadline, because wasting time on something that won't work out will not only set you back, but also discourage you from doing anything else. Depending on your preferences, write the ideas down, draw small sketchy mockups, or prototype with geometric shapes and placeholder art before you do anything serious. Coming from the previous point, work from big to small. Don't try making polished details like I did just to later find out that their scale is wrong or for any other reason you won't even use them in the end. 3. Use the software you know. Experimenting with music, art, mechanics is great, because you won't lose anything if you spend just two days working on something unplayable. Not knowing how to make that something is a whole different problem, however. If you join a game jam, 
think realistically and decide what amount of time you have for developing the game and plan accordingly. If you have a lot of other work and can only dedicate 5-6 to six hours to the game jam, don't try to make an RPG game with 5 characters, open world, complex inventory system and randomly generated dungeons. Uh, the main reason people fail when they start making games is because they bite off more than they can chew. Yep, okay, That's that makes the sense. Number. That is the reason. <laughs> and um, I was guilty of that many times. Finally, do you know what happened to my Ludendare entries numbers 38, 39, 40, some other ones? The number one reason I failed at them is that I never made an entry. I forgot about the jam, skipped it, didn't like the seam and came up with many other excuses. Just remember that not doing anything at all will never get you anywhere, while failure is a crucial component of success. Yeah, like, I... I have failed constantly <laughs> yeah yeah i mean you have to you you have to fail to learn make games relax share them and remember to have fun in the process and i'll see you in the next video farewell <laughs>